So if you've been subscribed to the channel for a while, you know that the Fire TV Stick 4K hasn't really changed over the past couple of years. It was released a couple of years ago and we've seen some software improvements, but the hardware has been the same. So finally for 2021, we're seeing faster processor, we're seeing additions in the user interface. We've seen a new Wi-Fi chip that's gonna make streaming a lot more enjoyable. So this video, we're gonna go over the details, the new additions, what to expect, what I think is still missing, also a side-by-side -side comparison between between the Fire TV Stick lineup. Let's go ahead and jump into it. So the price is gonna be $54.99. And just taking into consideration, this is a new device with new features, new specifications. That's not a bad pricing. Now, what I do see happening is when they have a Black Friday or Cyber Monday, we're gonna see this price dip down a lot. So keep it in mind that at release, this is currently $54.99. As far as the actual release date, it is available for pre-order currently, but the actual release date is gonna be October 7th. I have purchased it. I, I do plan on doing a full review, so stay tuned for that. So let's go ahead and go over some of the main features. So labeled our most powerful streaming stick, 40% more powerful than Fire TV Stick 4K with a faster app start and more fluid navigation. So that's something we'll definitely be testing out, supporting the next gen Wi-Fi 6. So if you guys have a compatible Wi-Fi 6 router, this is gonna make a huge difference. Now, if you watch my T-Mobile in-home internet review, you know that the difference between Wi-Fi 6 and the 5G or, or the 2.4 gigahertz, it's remarkable. Wi-Fi 6 is gonna give you a lot faster speeds, and this is where the new technology is going. So if you have a Wi-Fi 6 compatible router, if you pair it with a Wi-Fi 6 device, you're gonna see your internet speeds increase dramatically. Now for the Fire Stick that doesn't have an ethernet port, this is very important because this can mean the difference between watching something uninterrupted and getting buffering throughout your programming. So definitely excited about that upgrade. So they also have Dolby Vision, HDR, HDR10, and they also have Dolby Atmos Audio. So I know when it comes to, to streaming, to watching your content, a lot of people focus on the video, but if you have a nice audio setup with Dolby compatibility, guys, it just sets your home theater off to a new level. So good thing to see that this device actually supports that. Uh, endless entertainment, of course, the apps are gonna be supported. That's not really different. So you're gonna get the Prime videos, Netflix, Hulu, Peacock, so on and so forth. So Alexa remote with the new integration. So the remote hasn't really changed from 2020 Fire TV stick. So if you remember that in 2020, they released a couple Fire TV stick. They had a light version and they have a 1080p version. Uh, the light version did not have TV controls and the remote looks identical to what this is. They do have the, the guide button right here, uh, the, the Alexa button in the top change, you do have the pairing button up top, volume rocker. Your quick launch is gonna be Prime Videos, Netflix, Disney Plus, and Hulu. So the remote for the 4K has changed, but this is the same remote from the 2020 versions of the Fire Stick. So this is a new feature that I'm actually excited about, guys. Uh, Look like they're adding some multitasking where if you're you're watching TV and someone rings your doorbell, if you have the ring doorbell, they'll pop up in a picture in picture. And this is like I said, is the is the, the first iteration or first integration, I would say, where you have some type of multitasking happening on the Fire Stick. And that's because they did make some upgrades to the hardware and we'll get into that here in a little bit so fluid gameplay rendering graphics with 750 megahertz cpu access popular games with luna cloud their gaming subscription so let's go over the specs then we'll do a side by side comparison so the cpu did get an upgrade the clock speed is now 1.8 gigahertz uh, versus the 1.7 that we've seen on the previous fire tv stick and fire tv stick Lite. the gpu is 750 megahertz and uh again another slight bump to what we've seen on the previous devices as far as some of the added features from the previous 4k you can see right here we do have picture in picture we have wi-fi 6 support so the remote of course has changed like i said with those quick launch buttons for Netflix, Hulu, uh, Amazon Prime, but I find that a lot of people find those annoying and really just remap them as soon as they get a chance. So currently in their lineup, this is their second most powerful device uh, next to the Fire TV Q, which is almost double the price. So with all that being said, this is a nudge in the right direction. They are missing some of the key features that we've been asking for, but those features, I believe they're not attainable. For one, we would like to see a USB port, an ethernet port would be great, but with Amazon, with their, their Wi-Fi, chip being so good already and they did upgrade it again i don't see them putting the ethernet 
jack in this device anytime soon. Uh, USB, of course, if you have an OTG adapter, you can always go ahead and hook that in. And I'll go ahead and link a couple videos where I show you how that's done. But this has been pre-ordered. I will be doing a full review as soon as it comes in. If you guys have any questions or anything specific that you'd like me to test during that review, drop it in the comments. Also, check the link for the new Fire TV 4K Max that will be available October 7th. So thank you for watching. Hit the thumbs up, like this video, share this video, and I'll catch you on the next one.